Hey, Les Eleven Universe, it's Xander, and welcome back to WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. We are here on the final impact of Season 3 of the LS11 Universe. It's the final part of Season 3 that I am recording. I recorded this week a little out of order. This is it. Rob Van Dam making his way to the ring for the final impact of Season 3. The whole effing show on his way to the ring. Rob Van Dam is set to do battle with Wyndham in Wyndham's first Impact match in just three weeks' time at our first Impact special of the season against all odds. You know, at the time of recording this, that has no, there's nothing that could go wrong. But by the time you're seeing this, for all we know, the Golden Gates may have reopened for Wyndham, so to say. So Rob Van Dam with his first singles match in years in the LS11 universe. Rob Van Dam has appeared sporadically throughout the channel's history, and now tonight he takes on Ace Austin. Ace Austin making his way down to the ring. Ace Austin, not part of Bullet Club in the LS11 universe, because he didn't think he was getting too big. Ace Austin making his way down to the ring. Ace Austin has made his way to the ring. Austin versus Van Dam. This is going to be a big one. Here we go. Ace Austin with a kick now, knocking back the whole effing show. He knocks RVD off his feet. Ace Austin, no, Van Dam out of the way. Now Van Dam with a knee in the back, and Rob Van Dam does it again. Of course, last time we saw Rob Van Dam in the channel was. At, at Bound for Glory a few months ago where he was the surprise second entrant in the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Now he knocks back. He knocks back. Ace Austin. Spinning wheel kick knocks him back now and Van Dam into a bulldog takes him down. Rob Van Dam now getting him back up to his feet and Van Dam. No kick. Fires away. Van Dam. No. Ace Austin sweeps the leg. Now Ace Austin up to the top rope and Ace Austin. Van Dam off the top. Oh, went for a splash, but you don't splash Rob Van Dam. It doesn't work out for you. Van Dam. Whoa, went for the went for the for the Van Daminator kick. Got knocked back now, and Van Dam, no. Elbow strikes knocking him back and Rob Van Dam. Close line. Into another. Rob Van Dam ducks the close line. Super kick. Van Dam now gonna play the hits. Hits the ropes. How about a little rolling? Thunder! One, two, no! Ace Austin gets the shoulders up. And so Van Dam. Oh, wow, well, look at that. A, st a standing moonsault from RVD. RVD, now there's the Van Daminator kick. Rob up to the top row. Van Dam says we're done. Five star frog splash. Nobody does it better. One, two, three. Don't believe he's the whole effing show yet. He just proved it. Rob Van Dam scores the win. That five-star frog splash with a thing of beauty. I believe it was the first time we've ever seen RVD hit the five-star in LS11. Van Dam with the win. Look, man. Wyndham's talking around and saying that, uh, you know, he's a god or something. Well, look. I'm here as a favor to my buddy, Kurt. Angle knows that I might not be an Impact original, but I'm a legend of wrestling nonetheless, and I might be the only guy capable of taking down Wyndham. So Wyndham, I know how dangerous you are. I've watched you for years, but we've never had to step in the ring. But three weeks, we're going to be meeting one-on-one. -on -one. 
And you're going to see why they call me the whole effing show. You warned me that my life is going to be a living hell. I came from ECW, pal. I know pain that you can never comprehend. I know extreme because I was extreme before you were even uttering your first spooky ass riddles. I bring the extreme and I'll bring the extreme to you. And then you'll feel the whole world spin around your head. Because I'm Rob Van Dam. Christian Cage, I told you to stay out of my way, you old washed up man. I told you to leave me be so I could get my one more match, but you seem to be insistent on punishing yourself. So you went to Kurt Angle and you asked him to make a match between us at against all odds. Well, that's fine, because that's how I've been going my whole life has been fighting against all odds. Whether it was in WWE or whether it was coming here and pretending it was going to be a promised land only to be screwed time after time. It's fine. This is your final warning, Christian. Don't show up at Against All Odds. You don't want to know what I'm going to do to you. I'm not going to like what I do to you. And you're not going to like what I do to you. We're going to move into some tag team action up next, ladies and gentlemen. As here comes Violent by Design to the ring, Doring and Diener making their way to the ring. The last remaining members, of course, Eric Young ditched them in favor of reuniting Insanity, which I cannot say I blame him. Things have not gone well for the team of Violent by Design since the start of Impact Universe. So Doring and Dean are making their way to the ring. They do have a big opportunity tonight, though, because they are going to be fighting against the Impact Tag Team Champions. So Violent by Design make their way to the ring. Doring and Dean are here. They're going to be taking on the Impact Tag Team Champions, Ethan Page and Josh Alexander, the North. I've still got to remember to get bigger versions of the tag titles. That is on me. So Page and Alexander marching down to the ring. The North is here. These two have been doing great as a team since reuniting earlier this season. It's been a real career turnaround for Ethan Page. Page and Alexander make their way to the ring. The North versus Violent by Design. Without any further ado, all big bad Joe Doring starting it off with all ego Ethan Page. Here we go. Ethan Page firing around Joe Doring, who takes him down. Tag made to Diener. I don't really know that that's the best move, but you know, you do you, man. Diener gets him up to his feet. Page with a right hook. Ethan Page now grabs onto him, throws him across the ring into the corner. Ethan Page tag made to Josh Alexander. Josh Alexander, punch to the gut. One more ribs now and Josh Alexander fires away. Drop kick to, to, Co to Cody Diener. There's a kick to the ribs. And a right hook from Diener. Cody Diener, forearm strike off the ropes. Diener now grabs on to Josh Alexander and Diener stomping him repeatedly in the chest. Going up to the top rope now is Diener. Cody Diener coming up the top, no! Josh Alexander out of the way and Alexander grabs him. Rolls him through, cover. One, no. And a kick to the ribs and Josh Alexander grabs him. Elbow to the head. Grabs him up now and picks him back up to his feet. Picks him in the ribs now. And look at this. Josh Alexander firing away repeatedly. Cody Dean grabs him by the leg. Punches him in the gut. Punching him and taking him down. Alexander now getting picked back up to his feet. And Diener with Josh Alexander taking him towards the corner. Josh Alexander answers back. Now Josh grabs onto him. And Josh Alexander throws him across the ring. Into the corner. Oh, went for a tag. Diener found the counter. Now Cody Diener takes down Josh Alexander and Diener. Finally way into the face on Josh Alexander. Getting back up to his feet and Diener grabs Alexander. Alexander punching him in the face repeatedly. Knocks him back. Little chop. Alexander countered. Now Josh Alexander tried to grab him. Diener found the counter. Alexander knocks him back. 
Josh Alexander launches Diener into the corner. No, went for a tag, but Diener found the counter. Josh Alexander answers back with a right hook. Tag made to Ethan Page. And now the North looking for a double team. Off the ropes, pop them up. Boot to the face from the North. And now Ethan Page getting him back up to his feet. And Ethan Page, right hand connects. And Ethan Page, punching him repeatedly in the back. There's an uppercut. Puts him in the ropes. And Ethan Page, punched him in the back. And knee to the skull. He goes down. Ethan Page now getting Cody Diener up to his feet. Ethan Page launches him into the guardrail. And now Page, all ego, into the ring post. Gets him back up to his feet. And Ethan Page into the steps. Page just watching on as the referee's at the count of five. Six count. Joe Doring getting back to his feet though, and Joe Doring rolls back in. Page with a clothesline across the back. Or excuse me, Cody Diener back in the ring now. And now Ethan Page pulls him in, hooks the arms. Page pops him up. Butterfly backbreaker. And now Ethan Page. Oh, he managed to wipe out the big man. Doran goes down. Oh, so does the ref. The ref got in his way. And now Ethan Page grabbing Diener. Says, here we go. Ethan Page going to look for. Well, went for Ego's edge. Cover. The referee's still down. Ethan Page took him down. Cover by Diener. One. No, Ethan Page kicks out. And now Diener grabs onto Ethan Page. And Diener DDTs him. Ethan Page going down. Diener grabs onto him. Cody Diener with Ethan Page. Drags him away from the ropes, turning him over. Into a cover now. Diener with Page. One, no. Ethan Page kicks out. And Diener. Now the tag's been made to Doring, and Ethan Page is in trouble. Page staggering. Doring gets him up. Joe Doring now grabs onto him. No. Ethan Page. Elbows him back. Ethan Page now knocking him back. There's a right hook. Ethan Page doing everything he can here to knock back the big man. Grabs hold of him and now Ethan Page throws Doring in the corner. Tag made and yeah. Yeah, the North's definitely going to want to work together on this one. Oh, and look at this. Huge takedown from Josh Alexander. Alexander now getting him back up to his feet. Wow. Everything that could have gone wrong went wrong audio-wise there, didn't it? As now, Josh Alexander takes the leg down. Taking down Joe Doring into an ankle lock, but the long legs of Doring allow him to get into the ropes. Diener taking on the apron. Alexander, no, gets knocked back. Right hook's now coming in from Doring. And Ethan Page saving his tag team partner. Page with a kick. Takes down Diener as there's a big neck breaker from Josh Alexander. Now Josh Alexander turns him over and Alexander tries to grab him. Angle lock is in. Angle lock is in. Is Josh Alexander going to force a submission on Joe Doring? Joe Doring's trying with all of his might, the big man, trying to get out of it. But Diener makes the save. Josh Alexander says, get the hell out of here, Diener. Tag made, and Ethan Page is in now. Ethan Page, the big man is down. Joe Doring's in trouble. Ethan Page pulls him in, and Ethan Page, this could be enough at this point. Doring's taking so much damage. Cover. One, two, no. The North is running out of ideas at this point. So now Ethan Page goes around to the legs, and Ethan Page punched in the face by the big man. Oh, and Doring choke slam. Gets him back up to his feet, and Doring now scoops him up. Ethan Page elbow striking him in the head repeatedly. Ethan Page knocks him back, and Ethan Page with a right hook. Doring throws him across the ring into the corner, and Joe Doring grabs Ethan Page, and Doring head first into the turnbuckle goes Ethan Page. Grabs onto him again, and Ethan Page tied up in the ropes now. Doring kicks at the knee.
Doring takes him down. And now Joe Doring goes in the corner, tags Cody Diener. Diener is in now, and Diener grabs it, grabs Ethan Page. Cody Diener, wait, no. Ethan Page with an elbow strike. He won, and wait, he suckered him in. Turns it into a cross body on Joe on Cody Diener. And now Ethan Page gets hold of Diener. Here we go. Josh Alexander gonna go make sure that Joe Doring stays out of it. Ego's Edge. One, two, three, and oh my God, C4 Spike to Joe Doring. The North, despite having to fight through a giant like Joe Doring, the North puts away Violent by Design. The Impact Tag Team Champions are heading in to that to a title defense in a few weeks' time at against all odds against FTR. A huge win for the North tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, we only have two matches left tonight. It, we're kind of breezing right along in part because I'm running out of time to record before this has to go out. The North get the win. Paige and Alexander with a huge victory tonight. Action up next. Moving right along into some more singles action tonight. We're just jumping match to match to match tonight if you hadn't noticed yet. Here comes the lead brand endorser, the prestigious Joe Hendry to the ring. Joe Hendry looking to avenge last week's six-man tag loss. Or excuse me, two weeks ago's six-man tag loss. Joe Hendry making his way to the ring. Prestigious one, set for some singles action tonight. Looking to weaken Matt Cardona's, at this point, inevitable opponent for a digital media title defense in James Storm. Joe Hendry makes his way to the ring. He's gonna be taking on the Cowboy, an Impact original from back in the TNA days. Cowboy James Storm making his way to the ring. James Storm making his way down to the ring. It's been a hell of a return to Impact for him these last few months since we started LS11 Impact. James Storm making his way down to the ring. James Storm makes his way down to the ring. Also, the other reason I'm kind of rushing through tonight is because, well, I don't have much time left. So, James Storm and Joe Hendry gonna go one-on-one, -on -one, the Cowboy versus the prestigious one. It's on. Hendry grabs onto him and Hendry throws him into the corner. Joe Hendry's got him down and Joe Hendry kicks him in the back, Hendry. Oh man, Hendry immediately working the arm. Gets down James Storm and Joe Hendry. Back down, Hendry grabs the arm and snaps the arm of James Storm. Hendry went for a kick, James Storm back to his feet, went for a forearm, Hendry ducked it. And now Joe Hendry grabs onto him and Hendry lifts him up, takes him down. Hendry's got him down and Joe Hendry going back on the arm of James Storm. Hendry pulls back, James Storm goes down, Hendry getting him back up to his feet, Joe Hendry. Grabs onto Storm. Hendry with a takedown. Hendry using that amateur background. Of course, he started amateur wrestling at a bit of a later age than most people, but in order to get himself into the professional wrestling world, he started training in amateur wrestling to get better in the ring as James Storm takes him down. Storm now kicking Hendry while he's down. Storm with a kick to the back. Hendry back up to his feet. Hendry shoves him away. Hendry grabs onto Storm and Joe Hendry. Throws him across the ring by the head again. Hendry now covers Storm. Joe Hendry, one kick out from Storm. Joe Hendry's got him down now, and Joe Hendry with James Storm lifts him up and another back suplex. Hendry saying, We're done. 
Hendry now pulls him in, and Hendry going up to the arm. Hendry bends back the arm of James Storm. Storm on it. And now Hendry's got him back up to his feet. Joe Hendry went for a clothesline. James Storm went for a right hook. Hendry and Storm going back and forth. Storm grabs Hendry. Hendry goes down to one knee. Joe Hendry knocking back James Storm. Hendry grabs onto the cowboy, and Hendry, Northern Lights takes him down. One, no, kick out from Storm. Now Hendry getting Storm back up to his feet. Joe Hendry grabs onto him, and Hendry, while James Storm answering back, James Storm knocks him back. Now Storm, went for a right hand, Hendry counters. Hendry's just had Storm well scouted every turn possible tonight. Hits another Northern Lights on him as well. Joe Hendry getting him back up to his feet, close lines him. And now Hendry gets Storm back to his feet. Joe Hendry. Whoa, looking for freak of nature. James Storm worms his way out of it. And now Storm gets caught. Hendry throws him across the ring into the turnbuckle. Joe Hendry puts Storm up in the ropes. And Joe Hendry going to lift Storm up into an elevated sleeper. The elevated dragon sleeper takes down the cowboy. Joe Hendry getting him back up to his feet. And Hendry... James Storm, Hendry, throws him over the top rope. Joe Hendry went for a right hook, got a hold of him, right hand connects. Hendry now follows him to the outside, and Joe Hendry with James Storm. Back body drop on the apron. There's an elbow into the back as well. Hendry pulling back on the arm of James Storm. Hooking him down now, Storm. Whoa, wait a minute, Storm sweeps the leg of Joe. Storm slides back into the ring now, Joe Hendry. And back to his feet, Joe Hendry. Gets back into the ring. Last call! One, two, no! Storm nearly caught him out with the last call. Bring him back to his feet now, Joe Hendry. Scooped up by James Storm. Eight second ride! Cover. One, two. Hendry kicks out again. Hendry managed to kick out again. Storm taking him down. James Storm has got him down. Storm grabs Hendry back up to his feet now. And Storm with a right hook. James Storm firing away on Hendry, knocks him back to the corner. Hendry counters, and Joe Hendry takes out the knee. Close line again from Joe. Now Joe Hendry. Goes around to the side of him, calling him up to his feet. Storm in trouble. Hendry grabs onto him. Storm with a jawbreaker. Storm. Last call connects again. Now James Storm falls into a cover on Hendry. One, two, three. No! This crowd all chanting one more time, and Storm looking to oblige. Storm getting the big build up on it this time. A third. Last call to Hendry. One, two, three. Finally, James Storm managed to seal the deal, and James Storm manages to get the win over Joe Hendry. James Storm beats Joe Hendry tonight, sending a clear message to the digital media champion, Matt Cardona. With all that said, only one match remains tonight. The main event is coming up next. Alex Shelley versus Samoa Joe. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the time for the main event. Here comes Alex Shelley to the ring. Alex Shelley, a former Impact Tag Team Champion in LS11 Universe, making his way to the ring. One third of the Motor City Time Splitters makes his way to the ring. Alex Shelley last week came up short in the number one contenders match against Jonah. Eric Young and Jay White in that fatal four-way, which was advertised as elimination, but ended up being one fall. Whoops, my bad, genuinely, my bad. 
ended up coming short to Jonah in that one, who would end up being the winner. Of course, the main event of Against All Odds in three weeks' time now, we now know, will be Jonah versus Samoa Joe for the Impact World Championship, which, as we all know, my reaction to that, I'm going to save it for the night of. But here comes the Impact World Champion. Samoa Joe in his first match since winning the championship at Slammiversary from Swerve Strickland. Joe marching down to the ring, championship on his shoulder. And I know according to many people, myself included, that just that sight just looks right. Samoa Joe with the Impact World title in hand. Samoa Joe makes his way to the ring. There we go, Joe gonna allow Alex Shelley to make the first move. Alex Shelley gonna deliver sliced bread. And now Shelley went for a springboard cannonball. And Samoa Joe, oh, sent on across the back for his troubles. Now here we go, Joe, running his way around Alex Shelley, who chops him. Alex Shelley DDTs him. Joe and Shelley at this point would know each other pretty well. They've been around for a long time each. They were both Impact Originals. And Joe dodges a chop, firing away on Alex Shelley, chops away on him. Joe kicks out the legs. And now Samoa Joe grabs him. STF is in. Joe into a step over toll, face lock on Alex Shelley. Joe trying to tap out his, his opponent tonight in a quick fashion. Alex Shelley breaks the hold and Alex Shelley, elbow to the head of Joe. Joe rolls through. And now Joe gets caught, Alex Shelley with Samoa Joe over the top rope out to the floor. Shelley went for a kick, Joe kicks out the knee. And now Samoa Joe grabs onto him and Joe into the barricade. And now Samoa Joe grabs Alex Shelley and launches him back into the ring. Joe follows suit now and Joe gets him back up to his feet. Joe with a shot. Firing away on Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley counters. And Alex Shelley grabs the ropes. DDT to Joe. Shelley now going for the top rope and Joe is down. Alex Shelley. Moonsault connects. Cover on Joe, one, no, kick out from Samoa Joe. He gets him back up to his feet now, and Shelly, with Brennan Zaguri, Joe swatted him away. And now Joe with a chop, Joe fires away on Alex. Shelly takes him down. And now Joe, elbow drop. And Samoa Joe hits the ropes, sends on across the chest of Alex Shelly. And now Joe, in the ribs and Alex Shelley gets picked back up. Joe. Power bomb. One. Two. No. Joe now getting him back up to his feet and Samoa Joe with a chop attempt. Alex Shelley grabs onto him and Shelley taking out the arm. And rolls him through. Alex Shelley kicks him in the back. Joe goes down. Alex Shelley getting him back up to his feet. And Alex Shelley with an carry. Joe falls down and Alex Shelley with an elbow to the back. Joe is down again. Alex Shelley went for another kick. Joe, well, went for the legs. Alex Shelley got out of the way. And now Alex Shelley taking out the arm. Rolls him through. Kicks him in the back. Joe goes down. And Alex Shelley takes out the arm again. Down to the top rope now. And Alex Shelley. Oh, what is he thinking here? Alex Shelley. Oh, went for a frog splash. Joe got the knees up. Joe got the knees up. Right hand connects. Joe. Coquina clutch. Sits it onto the Coquina Clutch on Alex Shelley. Is Joe about to tap out Alex Shelley here with Coquina Clutch? Alex Shelley is writhing in pain. Samoa Joe's got it in tight. Alex Shelley could look for an upset over the champion if he can escape here. Oh, he rolls it through. One, two, Joe gets the shoulder up. Now Alex Shelley grabs him up on his shoulders. Shelley. Air raid crash to Joe. Cover. 
One, two, no. This crowd are appalled by what they're seeing right now as Joe takes him down. Joe's a submission specialist for a reason. Cross faces in. He can tap you out a million. He can tap you out a million ways to Sunday. He's got the cross face in. Joe with the cross face. Could that be enough to put down Alex Shelley? Alex Shelley rolls it through. Joe back to his feet. And now Joe with a jab to Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley with a punch to the gut. And now Shelley grabs onto Samoa Joe. Pulls him in and Alex Shelley. Hammerlock DDT. Into a cover on Joe. One, two, no. Joe kicks out. Shelly's got him down. He gets Joe back to his feet now. And Alex Shelly, no. Samoa Joe answers back. Joe kicks him in the legs. Now Joe with Alex Shelly. Throws him into the corner. Samoa Joe puts him on the top. Joe, here we go. Muscle Buster. One, two, three. Samoa Joe and Alex Shelley tore each other apart tonight, but ultimately Samoa Joe scores the victory. We're going to have two wrecking balls swinging at one another wildly in a few weeks' time at Against All Odds when Joe meets Jonah. Samoa Joe with a big win tonight in his first match as Impact World Champion. Thank you all for watching tonight. Thank you for an incredible night of Impact, and weirdly because it's kind of the last time I get to say it, thank you for an incredible Season 3. Until next time, I've been Xander, and that was Universe.